And we're back with the Baroness. Actually, the Baroness is portrayed by... Lachelle. Lachelle. Mm -hmm. And Lachelle is not here just to be in costume. She's here with what's your organization again? The Assault City Roller Girls. Tell us about your uh, organization. Yeah, certainly. Um, we're actually a roller derby here in Syracuse. Uh, we practice in Auburn at the Riva Roller Drome. And uh, we've been doing this since January. Um, right now we're recruiting and looking for... Um, Referees, officials, that sort of thing. Uh, we have about 20 members, and um, we practice about three times a week. And we're here at the Heroes Expo promoting for for the Derby. <laughs> and uh, any questions about roller derby or anything like that? Well, or? Actually, I'm not very familiar with roller derby. I've seen it before. Mm -hmm. I've seen it. It's an oval track. It's flat. Um, so it's not, you know, the bank tracks? Yes. We're not banked. Uh, we're just a flat track. And um, it's pretty small, actually. But it gets tough. It gets intense out there. Now, how's the game played? I have to forgive, I'm not uh, knowledgeable. Ooh, yeah, it's yeah. fun. It's, um, it's actually, there's not a lot to it. It's not complicated. There's uh, five girls on each team. Um, and four of each are blockers. They start out going around the track, and when they get to a certain point, the whistle blows. And then the two girls that are jammers, which is usually what I am, I don't like to do a lot of blocking, I like to go fast. So uh, the two jammers would race, and they have to get through the pack. The first time they go through, no points. The second time they get through, each opponent that they pass, they get a point for. Yes. The girls on your team are going to try to help you, and the girls on the other team are going to try to stop you. So you yeah you're you're playing on a flat track. Um, yeah. Is this a is this a choice by your organization or is it, does this have to be to change the style of play? Well, a bank track is about twenty thousand dollars to start up. So uh, a flat track is the way to go. It's already down. You can just use whatever is there. Didn't mean to be too upset, Lee. Um, right now, we're actually breaking up into teams. Um, we'll probably have our first expo bout probably like January or February. Um, right now, we're just getting good and uh, recruiting. We need probably about six or seven more girls before we'll have we'll be able to really get things going. Why have you chosen to uh, portray the Baroness? Oh well, my roller derby name is Baroness von Brudel. And actually, my roller derby persona is after the Baroness. So characters are a big part of roller derby. Oh, it's like wrestling. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have like a persona, and you know, you can be, um, like in the real world, I'm a dog trainer, and I was in the military, so it's like very, you know, straight and narrow, solid, and then you get out, you get out there, and it's like, you can be wild, you have to have, you know, you can be tough, and all these different things, so... So which part of the costumes did this costume did you make? Oh, all of it. I'm kind of like casual Friday Baroness. I didn't want to do the whole pleather thing, so um, we just stenciled this on, and um, I don't know. The boots and the jeans are just what I would wear out. Are the glasses part of the costume, or are those yours? Um, those are part of the costume. I don't wear glasses because I, I don't look very good in them, so... Biggest misconception about roller derby? Um, that we're all big B-I, yeah, the B words. But we're actually awesome and uh, pretty laid back, easygoing girls. Yeah, I'm surprised because for what sounds like a very full context for it, you do have a slit, small frame. And I, I mean, we're actually, we're all pretty small. So um, we don't really have a lot of bigger girls. Some of the other leagues in the area they're scary but we're you know we're all pretty tiny and in shape so how, how did you first get involved in roller derby i woke up and started it <laughs> the whole, this whole organization yeah is yes it is yeah where were you first exposed to the sport um it must have been something subconscious because i just woke up and i said i'm going to start a roller derby 
and I didn't know what that was. Like, I had never played it, I'd never seen it played, I thought maybe there was a ball involved, um, and there was no ball, and I was like, okay, this is cool, and um, I was not from the area originally, and I moved here, and there wasn't a whole lot going on, and I, uh, I was looking for other girls who have the same interests that I have, and the same, you know, kind of what? What? do Yeah, um, it's, it's been amazing. So we all get along really well. Uh, I met a lot of great people, and uh, the league's really starting to take off. So, so the, to the physical aspect of it, have you had any bad spills? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I fell on my head. I like bounced on the ground. Um, like I couldn't walk for a couple of days because my knee was all swollen up. And we were a lot of pads though. Cool. Helmets. Oh, yeah, helmets, mouth guard, wrist pads, elbow pads, um, knee pads, and then you can wear, like, optional things like a tailbone protector or, like, a butt pad. So, yeah. And those are the style of skates that you use? Yes, they're derby skates. Um, they have, like, a low boot, so they're better for... Oh, yeah. oh okay. So I'm, I know a lot of people who roller skate now use the blades. Would that be impossible to use in roller derby? Use plays? The, the, you know how the, the inline skating? Oh, fruit boots? Yes, uh, you can, but... Is that the derogatory term that roller... Uh, sort of is, yeah, it's a joke. Um, they're fine, too, um, but they're... We like the old style derby from like the 30s, the 40s, 50s, and then in the 70s it was like huge. So we're bringing derby back. Whether it's for your kid or for when you were a kid, Cloud City Comics has it all. For the newest and most unique collection of comics, action figures, anime, and Godzilla, check out the selection here. Only Cloud City Comics has the most original toys and Hello Kitty merchandise found in New York State. Cloud City Comics. Now open on Erie Boulevard in Duet. We're totally serious about you having fun.